Hey guys, it's Delilah and boy, it feels like forever since the last time I sat down and filmed a video. For those of you who don't follow me on my Instagram, we have finally found our new home and recently moved in, but there are just still a lot of details we need to take care of. I think I will probably just film another life update video to fill you guys in with more details. But anyway, that's a whole nother subject. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you my no foundation routine, which is something I've been rocking almost the whole summer it's also what I'm wearing right now basically uh, no foundation but it's by no means a minimum makeup look or no makeup makeup look there's still a lot of steps and uh, it's just something I go for whenever I want to skip the foundation layer and just to make my skin look a little bit more natural kind of so yeah if you're someone who like a full coverage makeup this may not be for you but if you are curious about my no foundation routine and how to achieve a very natural glowing skin look and um, what are the products i will be recommending then just keep on watching okay so let's get straight to it my skin has been pretty good recently. I will definitely film a updated skincare routine soon. So as you can see, there are just some little blemishes here and there, some discoloration, mainly redness, but overall I'm just pretty happy with my skin right now. So after my everyday skincare routine, I will make sure to apply a lot, a lot of SPF. That's just essential to having good skin. And I'm currently switching between two products. One is from Kiehl's. It's fairly lightweight and it kind of has this brightening effect. So it's perfect for a no foundation day. And this one from Seki Sweet is what I'm using today. It's very moisturizing, almost like a face lotion. And unlike the Kiehl's one that brightens up the face a little, this one is completely transparent. Now, usually after SPF, I will just move on to concealer directly. But if you want, you can also add a primer here to look even more put together. So depending on your skin concerns, I will suggest a color correcting primer to even out your skin tone or a pore filling primer to smooth all over your complexion. You know, just add or remove whatever steps that you like to suit your need. Okay, so for me personally, after SPF, I will just go straight to color correct my under eye area because I have pretty visible dark circles. The product I choose today is this one from 3 Cosmetics. It's light to medium coverage, very moisturizing, so I think it's just more suitable for a no foundation look. Next, we are going to conceal and I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer because I feel when you are not wearing foundation, it's just better to choose a concealer or color corrector that's um, lighter coverage and gives a more natural finish since the rest of your face will not be completely covered, you know. I think it will just look overall more balanced that way. So here I'm just dotting this concealer on some of the blemishes in my under eye area as well. Moving on, just take a translucent powder that you like and set the area we just put concealer um, basically everywhere. For me, it's not only setting the face, it also helps to control the oil and just make all the other face makeup I'm going to apply later go on more smoothly. Okay, now to bronze up my face, I'm using this little contour kit from Physician Formula and I'm going to tap into this bronzer shade to warm up my whole complexion, mainly the perimeter of my face and a little bit on the nose. I just find it looking a lot more natural when I put a little bit bronzer on my nose too. Next to contour, I'm using this cooler shade in the kit and just trying to cover up my cheekbones and give my face a little bit more definition. For blush, I personally prefer a cream or liquid formula when I'm not wearing any foundation because I think they just seem to um, blend into the skin more and overall have a more natural finish. Uh, for today, I'm using this one from Vise. It's a um, Japanese drugstore brand. Because it's a cream or liquid, it will not make the skin look dry or powdery like some powder blush does. Last but certainly not least, we are going to highlight the face, my favorite. 
Same with the blush, I tend to grab my cream or liquid highlighter a lot more often for this type of look. And this one from Laura Mercier, it's powder but also extremely natural. And for today's look, I'm using this one from Colourpop in the shade Hippo. It's just a very beautiful iridescent type of highlighter that has a little purple shift to it. And yeah, that's it guys, that's my no foundation routine which I've been wearing almost the whole summer but obviously you can just rock this look in um, all seasons. As usual, I will link all the products I use in the video down in the info box and if you have any questions, suggestions or just anything you want to tell me, always feel free to leave them in the comment section down below as well. I will be happy to answer you. Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe for more Delilah's Delights. Also follow me on my Instagram at Delilah Delights. I'm very active there. I try to post almost every day. I try. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye bye.